if you're trying to figure out how to work from home and stay healthy since gyms are closed right now, we know that can be a challenge. So we're starting our first workout Wednesday with advice from one East Tennessee mom who will help you step in the right direction. Get it. Hi, I'm Whitney with TheMotherRunners.com, a resource for moms who run. And a lot of people are thinking about starting running right now because their gyms are closed, and it's a great time to get started. It's spring, it's beautiful outside. If you start training now, you'll be ready to run a race in a couple months when hopefully races are resuming. And also, it's a great way to keep your social distance from people. So how you get started without getting hurt? First, you wanna make sure you don't increase your weekly mileage by more than 10% at a time. And then you also wanna make sure you warm up really well with about a five, 10 minute walk, and then do a run walk program where you run for about a minute, walk for about four minutes, alternate that about four or five times in the session, do that three to four times a week, and then also make sure you cool down really well with about five to 10 minutes of walking, some light stretching, use a foam roller if you have one, if you're already training for a race and your race is canceled or you think it may be canceled, keep on training. You could do a time trial or a virtual race. Just make sure you don't train too hard because that can run down your immunity. So you don't want to run more than 75% effort or do long runs more than 20 miles at a time. Getting outside and running is a great way to boost your mood. So get out there and have fun.